What does the word geography mean? The word geography is of Greek origin and can be divided into two parts. Geo, meaning the earth, and graphy, which refers to writing. So geography can be loosely translated to writing about the earth. Ancient geography was often descriptions of far away places. But modern geography has become much more than writing about the earth. Contemporary geographers have a difficult time defining the discipline. Some of my favorite definitions include the bridge between the human and the natural sciences. The mother of all sciences, and anything that can be mapped. What does the word geography mean? The word geography is of Greek origin and can be divided into two parts. Geo, meaning the earth, and graphy, which refers to writing. So geography can be loosely translated to writing about the earth. Ancient geography was often descriptions of far away places. But modern geography has become much more than writing about the earth. Contemporary geographers have a difficult time defining the discipline. Some of my favorite definitions include the bridge between the human and the natural sciences. The mother of all sciences, and anything that can be mapped. Who invented geography? The Greek philosopher Thales was one of the first to argue about the shape of the world in the 6th century B. C. And Chinese texts of the 5th century BCE describe the provinces of China in great detail. However, the Greek scholar Eratosthenes is credited with the first use of the word geography. In the 3rd century BCE, he is also known as the father of geography for his geographical writing and accomplishments. Including the measurement of the circumference of the earth. Who invented geography? The Greek philosopher Thales was one of the first to argue about the shape of the world in the 6th century B. C. And Chinese texts of the 5th century BCE describe the provinces of China in great detail. However, the Greek scholar Eratosthenes is credited with the first use of the word geography. In the 3rd century BCE, he is also known as the father of geography for his geographical writing and accomplishments. Including the measurement of the circumference of the earth. What is geologic time? Geologic time is a time scale that divides the history of the planet Earth into eras, periods, and epochs from the birth of the planet to the present. 
The oldest era is the Precambrian, which began 4.6 billion years ago and ended about 570 million years ago. Next came the Paleozoic era, which lasted from 570 to 245 million years ago. Followed by the Mesozoic era, from 245 to 66 million years ago. We're now living in the Cenozoic era, which began 66 million years ago. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras are each divided into periods. Additionally, the Cenozoic era is divided into even smaller units of time called epochs. The last 10,000 years, the time since the last significant ice age, is called the Holocene epoch. What is geologic time? Geologic time is a time scale that divides the history of the planet Earth into eras. Periods, and epochs from the birth of the planet to the present. The oldest era is the Precambrian, which began 4.6 billion years ago and ended about 570 million years ago. Next came the Paleozoic era, which lasted from 570 to 245 million years ago. Followed by the Mesozoic era, from 245 to 66 million years ago. We're now living in the Cenozoic era, which began 66 million years ago. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras are each divided into periods. Additionally, the Cenozoic era is divided into even smaller units of time called epochs. The last 10,000 years, the time since the last significant ice age, is called the Holocene epoch. What is the AAG? The Association of American Geographers, AAG, is a professional organization of academic geographers and geography students. The AAG was founded in 1904 and publishes two key academic journals in geography. The Annals of the Association of American Geographers and the Professional Geographer the AAG also holds annual conferences and supports regional and specialty groups of geographers. What is the AAG? The Association of American Geographers AAG is a professional organization of academic geographers and geography students. The AAG was founded in 1904 and publishes two key academic journals in geography. The Annals of the Association of American Geographers and the Professional Geographer the AAG also holds annual conferences and supports regional and specialty groups of geographers. What is the NCGE? The National Council for Geographic Education. NCGE 
is an organization of educators that seeks to promote geographic education. The NCGE publishes the Journal of Geography and holds conferences every year. What is the NCGE? The National Council for Geographic Education, NCGE, is an organization of educators that seeks to promote geographic education. The NCGE publishes the Journal of Geography and holds conferences every year. What is the National Geographic Society? Founded in 1888, the National Geographic Society has supported exploration, cartography, and discovery and publishes the popular magazine National Geographic, the fifth most popular magazine in the United States. What is the National Geographic Society? Founded in 1888, the National Geographic Society has supported exploration, cartography, and discovery and publishes the popular magazine National Geographic, the fifth most popular magazine in the United States. What do modern geographers do? While there are a few jobs with the title of geographer, many geography students use their analytical ability and knowledge of the world to work in a variety of fields. Geography students often take jobs in fields such as city planning, cartography, marketing, real estate, environment, and teaching. What do modern geographers do? While there are a few jobs with the title of geographer, many geography students use their analytical ability and knowledge of the world to work in a variety of fields. Geography students often take jobs in fields such as city planning, cartography, marketing, real estate, environment, and teaching. How old is the Earth? The Earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old. How old is the Earth? The Earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old. How was the Earth formed? Scientists believe that the Earth was formed along with the rest of the solar system 
from a massive gas cloud. As the cloud solidified, it formed the solid masses such as the Earth and the other planets. How was the Earth formed? Scientists believe that the Earth was formed. Along with the rest of the solar system, from a massive gas cloud. As the cloud solidified, it formed the solid masses such as the Earth and the other planets. What is the circumference of the Earth? The circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers. Due to the irregular, ellipsoid shape of the Earth, a line of longitude wrapped around the Earth going through the North and South Poles is 24,859.82 miles, 40,000 kilometers. Therefore, the Earth is a little bit, about 41 miles 66 kilometers, wider than it is high. The diameter of the Earth is 7,926.41 miles, 12,753.59 kilometers. What is the circumference of the Earth? The circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers. Due to the irregular, ellipsoid shape of the Earth, a line of longitude wrapped around the Earth going through the North and South Poles is 24,859.82 miles, 40,000 kilometers. Therefore, the Earth is a little bit, about 41 miles 66 kilometers, wider than it is high. The diameter of the Earth is 7,926.41 miles, 12,753.59 kilometers. Is the Earth a perfect sphere? No, the Earth is a bit wider than it is high. The shape is often called a geoid, Earth-like, or an ellipsoid. The rotation of the Earth causes a slight bulge towards the equator. The circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers, which is about 41 miles. 66 kilometers, greater than the circumference through the poles, 24,859.82 miles 40,000 kilometers. If you were standing on the moon, looking back home, it would be virtually impossible to see the bulge and the earth would appear to be a perfect sphere, which it practically is. Is the Earth a perfect sphere? No, the Earth is a bit wider than it is high.
The shape is often called a geoid, earth-like, or an ellipsoid. The rotation of the earth causes a slight bulge towards the equator. The circumference of the earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers, which is about 41 miles. 66 kilometers, greater than the circumference through the poles, 24,859.82 miles 40,000 kilometers. If you were standing on the moon, looking back home, it would be virtually impossible to see the bulge and the earth would appear to be a perfect sphere, which it practically is. What is a hemisphere? A hemisphere is half of the Earth. The Earth can actually be divided into hemispheres in two ways, by the equator. And by the prime meridian, through Greenwich, England at 0 degrees longitude and another meridian at 180 degrees longitude. Near the location of the international dateline in the western Pacific Ocean. The equator divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. There are seasonal differences between the northern and southern hemispheres. But there is no such difference between the eastern and western hemispheres. 0 and 180 degrees longitude divide the Earth into the eastern, most of Europe, Africa, Australia, and Asia, and western, the Americas, hemispheres. What is a hemisphere? A hemisphere is half of the Earth. The Earth can actually be divided into hemispheres in two ways, by the equator. And by the prime meridian, through Greenwich, England at 0 degrees longitude and another meridian at 180 degrees longitude. Near the location of the international dateline in the western Pacific Ocean. The equator divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. There are seasonal differences between the northern and southern hemispheres. But there is no such difference between the eastern and western hemispheres. 0 and 180 degrees longitude divide the Earth into the eastern, most of Europe, Africa, Australia, and Asia, and western, the Americas, hemispheres. What is the National Geographic Society? Founded in 1888, the National Geographic Society has supported exploration, cartography, and discovery and publishes the popular magazine National Geographic, the fifth most popular magazine in the United States. What is geologic time? Geologic time is a time scale that divides the history of the planet Earth into eras, periods, and epochs from the birth of the planet to the present. 
The oldest era is the Precambrian, which began 4.6 billion years ago and ended about 570 million years ago. Next came the Paleozoic era, which lasted from 570 to 245 million years ago. Followed by the Mesozoic era, from 245 to 66 million years ago. We're now living in the Cenozoic era, which began 66 million years ago. The Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic eras are each divided into periods. Additionally, the Cenozoic era is divided into even smaller units of time called epochs. The last 10,000 years, the time since the last significant ice age, is called the Holocene epoch. Is the Earth a perfect sphere? No, the Earth is a bit wider than it is high. The shape is often called a geoid, Earth-like, or an ellipsoid. The rotation of the Earth causes a slight bulge towards the equator. The circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers, which is about 41 miles. 66 kilometers, greater than the circumference through the poles, 24,859.82 miles 40,000 kilometers. If you were standing on the moon, looking back home, it would be virtually impossible to see the bulge and the earth would appear to be a perfect sphere, which it practically is. What do modern geographers do? While there are a few jobs with the title of geographer, Many geography students use their analytical ability and knowledge of the world to work in a variety of fields. Geography students often take jobs in fields such as city planning, cartography, marketing, real estate, environment, and teaching. How old is the Earth? The Earth is approximately 4.6 billion years old. What is the NCG? The National Council for Geographic Education, NCGE, is an organization of educators that seeks to promote geographic education. The NCGE publishes the Journal of Geography and holds conferences every year. What does the word geography mean? The word geography is of Greek origin and can be divided into two parts. Geo, meaning the earth, and graphy, which refers to writing. So geography can be loosely translated to writing about the earth. Ancient geography was often descriptions of faraway places. 
but modern geography has become much more than writing about the Earth. Contemporary geographers have a difficult time defining the discipline. Some of my favorite definitions include the bridge between the human and the natural sciences. The mother of all sciences, and anything that can be mapped. Who invented geography? The Greek philosopher Thales was one of the first to argue about the shape of the world in the 6th century B. C. And Chinese texts of the 5th century BCE describe the provinces of China in great detail. However, the Greek scholar Eratosthenes is credited with the first use of the word geography. In the 3rd century BCE, he is also known as the father of geography for his geographical writing and accomplishments, including the measurement of the circumference of the earth. What is the AAG? The Association of American Geographers, AAG, is a professional organization of academic geographers and geography students. The AAG was founded in 1904 and publishes two key academic journals in geography. The Annals of the Association of American Geographers and the Professional Geographer the AAG also holds annual conferences and supports regional and specialty groups of geographers. How was the Earth formed? Scientists believe that the Earth was formed along with the rest of the solar system, from a massive gas cloud. As the cloud solidified, it formed the solid masses such as the Earth and the other planets. What is the circumference of the Earth? The circumference of the Earth at the equator is 24,901.55 miles, 40,066.59 kilometers. Due to the irregular, ellipsoid shape of the Earth, a line of longitude wrapped around the Earth going through the north and south poles is 24,859.82 miles, 40,000 kilometers. Therefore, the Earth is a little bit, about 41 miles 66 kilometers, wider than it is high. The diameter of the Earth is 7,926.41 miles, 12,753.59 kilometers. What is a hemisphere? A hemisphere is half of the Earth. The Earth can actually be divided into hemispheres in two ways, by the equator. And by the prime meridian, through Greenwich, England, 
at 0 degrees longitude and another meridian at 180 degrees longitude. Near the location of the International Dateline in the Western Pacific Ocean. The equator divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. There are seasonal differences between the northern and southern hemispheres. But there is no such difference between the eastern and western hemispheres. 0 and 180 degrees longitude divide the Earth into the eastern, most of Europe. Africa, Australia, and Asia, and Western, the Americas, hemispheres. What are the Arctic and Antarctic circles? The circles are imaginary lines that surround the North and South Poles at 66.5 degrees latitude. The Arctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees north of the Equator and the Antarctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees south. Areas north of the Arctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near December 21st and Areas south of the Antarctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near June 21st. Almost all of the continent of Antarctica is located to the south of the Antarctic Circle. What are the Arctic and Antarctic Circles? The circles are imaginary lines that surround the North and South Poles at 66.5 degrees latitude. The Arctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees north of the Equator and the Antarctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees south. Areas north of the Arctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near December 21st and Areas south of the Antarctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near June 21st. Almost all of the continent of Antarctica is located to the south of the Antarctic Circle. If the Earth is so large, why did Columbus think that India was close enough to reach by sailing west from Europe? The Greek geographer Posidonus did not believe Eratosthenes' earlier calculation. So he performed his own measurement of the Earth's circumference and arrived at the figure of 18,000 miles, 28,962 kilometers. Columbus used the circumference estimated by Posidonus when he argued his plan before the Spanish court. The 7,000 mile, 11,263 kilometer, difference between the actual circumference and the one. Columbus used led him to believe he could reach India rather quickly by sailing west from Europe. If the Earth is so large, why did Columbus think that India was close enough to reach by sailing west from Europe? The Greek geographer Posidonus did not believe Eratosthenes' earlier calculation. 
so he performed his own measurement of the Earth's circumference and arrived at the figure of 18,000 miles, 28,962 kilometers. Columbus used the circumference estimated by Posidonis when he argued his plan before the Spanish court. The 7,000 mile, 11,263 kilometer, difference between the actual circumference and the one. Columbus used led him to believe he could reach India rather quickly by sailing west from Europe. How fast does the Earth spin? It depends on where you are on the planet. If you were standing on the North Pole or close to it, you would be moving at a very slow rate of speed nearly zero miles per hour. On the other hand, those who live at the equator, and therefore have to move about 24,900 miles. 40,000 kilometers in a 24-hour period, zoom at about 1,038 miles, 1,670 kilometers, per hour. Those in the mid-latitudes, as in the United States, breeze along from about 700 to 900 miles, 1,126 to 1,448 kilometers, per hour. How fast does the Earth spin? It depends on where you are on the planet. If you were standing on the North Pole or close to it, you would be moving at a very slow rate of speed nearly zero miles per hour. On the other hand, those who live at the equator, and therefore have to move about 24,900 miles. 40,000 kilometers in a 24-hour period, zoom at about 1,038 miles, 1,670 kilometers, per hour. Those in the mid-latitudes, as in the United States. Breeze along from about 700 to 900 miles, 1,126 to 1,448 kilometers per hour. Why don't we feel the Earth moving? Even though we constantly move at a high rate of speed, we don't feel it. Just as we don't feel the speed at which we're flying in an airplane or driving in a car. It's only when there is a sudden change in speed that we notice. And if the Earth made such a change we would certainly feel it. Why don't we feel the Earth moving? Even though we constantly move at a high rate of speed, we don't feel it. Just as we don't feel the speed at which we're flying in an airplane or driving in a car. It's only when there is a sudden change in speed that we notice. And if the Earth made such a change we would certainly feel it. Does the Earth spin at a constant rate?
the rotation of the Earth actually has slight variations. Motion and activity within the Earth, such as friction due to tides, wind, and other forces, change the speed of the planet's rotation a little. These changes only amount to milliseconds over hundreds of years but do cause people who keep exact time to make corrections every few years. Does the Earth spin at a constant rate? The rotation of the Earth actually has slight variations. Motion and activity within the Earth, such as friction due to tides, wind, and other forces, change the speed of the planet's rotation a little. These changes only amount to milliseconds over hundreds of years but do cause people who keep exact time to make corrections every few years. What is the axis of the Earth? The axis is the imaginary line that passes through the north and south poles about which the Earth revolves. What is the axis of the Earth? The axis is the imaginary line that passes through the north and south poles about which the Earth revolves. What is inside the Earth? At the very center of the Earth is a dense and solid inner core of iron and other minerals that is about 1,800 miles 2,896 kilometers wide. Surrounding the inner core is a liquid, molten, outer core. Surrounding the outer core is the mantle, which makes up the bulk of the interior of the Earth. The mantle is composed of three layers two outer layers are solid and the inner layer. The asthenosphere, is a layer of rock that is easily moved and shaped. What is inside the earth? At the very center of the Earth is a dense and solid inner core of iron and other minerals that is about 1,800 miles 2,896 kilometers wide. Surrounding the inner core is a liquid, molten, outer core. Surrounding the outer core is the mantle, which makes up the bulk of the interior of the Earth. The mantle is composed of three layers two outer layers are solid and the inner layer. The asthenosphere, is a layer of rock that is easily moved and shaped. If I dug through the earth, would I end up in China? If you are in North America and you were able to dig through the Earth, which is impossible due to such things as pressure, the molten outer core, 
and solid inner core, you would end up in the Indian Ocean, far from land masses. If you were really lucky, you might end up on a tiny island. But you're surely not going to end up in China. The points at opposite sides of the Earth are called antipodes. Most antipodes of Europe fall into the Pacific Ocean. If I dug through the Earth, would I end up in China? If you are in North America and you were able to dig through the Earth, which is impossible due to such things as pressure, the molten outer core, and solid inner core, you would end up in the Indian Ocean, far from land masses. If you were really lucky, you might end up on a tiny island. But you're surely not going to end up in China. The points at opposite sides of the Earth are called antipodes. Most antipodes of Europe fall into the Pacific Ocean. What is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? We don't get to appreciate the beauty of this huge mountain range because it's located at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, with one exception, Iceland is a part of the ridge. The ridge is a crack between tectonic plates where new ocean floor is being created as magma flows up from under the earth. As more crust is created, it pushes the older crust further away. The new crust at the ridge piles up to form mountains. And then begins to move across the bottom of the ocean. Because the earth can't get larger as more crust is created. The crust eventually has nowhere to go except back into the earth. This is where subduction occurs. What is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? We don't get to appreciate the beauty of this huge mountain range because it's located at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, with one exception, Iceland is a part of the ridge. The ridge is a crack between tectonic plates where new ocean floor is being created as magma flows up from under the earth. As more crust is created, it pushes the older crust further away. The new crust at the ridge piles up to form mountains. And then begins to move across the bottom of the ocean. Because the earth can't get larger as more crust is created. The crust eventually has nowhere to go except back into the earth. This is where subduction occurs. What is subduction? When two tectonic plates meet and collide, crust must either be lifted up, as in the case of the Himalayas, or it must be sent back into the earth. When crust from one plate slides under the crust of another, it is called subduction. And the area around the subduction is called a subduction zone.
What is subduction? When two tectonic plates meet and collide, crust must either be lifted up, as in the case of the Himalayas, or it must be sent back into the earth. When crust from one plate slides under the crust of another, it is called subduction. And the area around the subduction is called a subduction zone. What is the North Magnetic Pole? The North Magnetic Pole is where compass needles around the world point. It is located in Canada's Northwest Territories at about 71 degrees north, 96 degrees west. Latitude and longitude, about 900 miles, 1,450 kilometers, away from absolute North Pole. It moves continuously. So to determine true north, look at a recent topographic map for your local area. It should note the magnetic declination, which means the degrees east or west. That you'll need to rotate your compass to determine which way is actually north. What is the North Magnetic Pole? The North Magnetic Pole is where compass needles around the world point. It is located in Canada's Northwest Territories at about 71 degrees north, 96 degrees west. Latitude and Longitude about 900 miles, 1,450 kilometers, away from absolute North Pole. It moves continuously, so to determine true north, look at a recent topographic map for your local area. It should note the magnetic declination, which means the degrees east or west. That you'll need to rotate your compass to determine which way is actually north. What are continents? Continents are the six or seven large land masses on the planet. If you count seven continents these include Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, North America, and South America. Some geographers refer to six continents by combining Europe and Asia as Eurasia. Due to the fact that it is one large tectonic plate and land mass. So whether you count Europe and Asia one continent or two. Divided at the Ural Mountains in western Russia, is up to the individual. Australia is the only continent that is its own country. What are continents? Continents are the six or seven large land masses on the planet. If you count seven continents these include Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, North America, and South America. Some geographers refer to six continents by combining Europe and Asia as Eurasia. Due to the fact that it is one large tectonic plate and land mass. 
so whether you count Europe and Asia one continent or two. Divided at the Ural Mountains in western Russia, is up to the individual. Australia is the only continent that is its own country. What is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? We don't get to appreciate the beauty of this huge mountain range because it's located at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, with one exception, Iceland is a part of the ridge. The ridge is a crack between tectonic plates where new ocean floor is being created as magma flows up from under the earth. As more crust is created, it pushes the older crust further away. The new crust at the ridge piles up to form mountains. And then begins to move across the bottom of the ocean. Because the earth can't get larger as more crust is created. The crust eventually has nowhere to go except back into the earth. This is where subduction occurs. How fast does the Earth spin? It depends on where you are on the planet. If you were standing on the North Pole or close to it, you would be moving at a very slow rate of speed nearly zero miles per hour. On the other hand, those who live at the equator, and therefore have to move about 24,900 miles. 40,000 kilometers in a 24-hour period, zoom at about 1,038 miles, 1,670 kilometers, per hour. Those in the mid-latitudes, as in the United States. Breeze along from about 700 to 900 miles, 1,126 to 1,448 kilometers per hour. Why don't we feel the Earth moving? Even though we constantly move at a high rate of speed, we don't feel it. Just as we don't feel the speed at which we're flying in an airplane or driving in a car. It's only when there is a sudden change in speed that we notice. And if the Earth made such a change we would certainly feel it. What are the Arctic and Antarctic circles? The circles are imaginary lines that surround the North and South Poles at 66.5 degrees latitude. The Arctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees north of the Equator and the Antarctic Circle is a line of latitude at 66.5 degrees south. Areas north of the Arctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near December 21st and Areas south of the Antarctic Circle are dark for 24 hours near June 21st. Almost all of the continent of Antarctica is located to the south of the Antarctic Circle.
If I dug through the earth, would I end up in China? If you are in North America and you were able to dig through the earth, which is impossible due to such things as pressure, the molten outer core, and solid inner core, you would end up in the Indian Ocean, far from land masses. If you were really lucky, you might end up on a tiny island. But you're surely not going to end up in China. The points at opposite sides of the Earth are called antipodes. Most antipodes of Europe fall into the Pacific Ocean. What are continents? Continents are the six or seven large land masses on the planet. If you count seven continents these include Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, North America, and South America. Some geographers refer to six continents by combining Europe and Asia as Eurasia. Due to the fact that it is one large tectonic plate and land mass. So whether you count Europe and Asia one continent or two. Divided at the Ural Mountains in western Russia, is up to the individual. Australia is the only continent that is its own country. What is the axis of the Earth? The axis is the imaginary line that passes through the North and South Poles about which the Earth revolves. If the Earth is so large, why did Columbus think that India was close enough to reach by sailing west from Europe? The Greek geographer Posidonus did not believe Eurydice's earlier calculation. So he performed his own measurement of the Earth's circumference and arrived at the figure of 18,000 miles. 28,962 kilometers. Columbus used the circumference estimated by Posidonis when he argued his plan before the Spanish court. The 7,000 mile, 11,263 kilometer, difference between the actual circumference and the one. Columbus used led him to believe he could reach India rather quickly by sailing west from Europe. What is subduction? When two tectonic plates meet and collide, crust must either be lifted up, as in the case of the Himalayas, or it must be sent back into the earth. When crust from one plate slides under the crust of another, it is called subduction. And the area around the subduction is called a subduction zone. Does the Earth spin at a constant rate? The rotation of the Earth actually has slight variations. 
motion and activity within the earth, such as friction due to tides, wind, and other forces, change the speed of the planet's rotation a little. These changes only amount to milliseconds over hundreds of years but do cause people who keep exact time to make corrections every few years. What is the North Magnetic Pole? The North Magnetic Pole is where compass needles around the world point. It is located in Canada's Northwest Territories at about 71 degrees north, 96 degrees west. Latitude and longitude, about 900 miles, 1,450 kilometers, away from absolute North Pole. It moves continuously. So to determine true north, look at a recent topographic map for your local area. It should note the magnetic declination, which means the degrees east or west. That you'll need to rotate your compass to determine which way is actually north. What does the word geography mean? The word geography is of Greek origin and can be divided into two parts. Geo, meaning the earth, and graphy, which refers to writing. So geography can be loosely translated to writing about the earth. Ancient geography was often descriptions of far away places. But modern geography has become much more than writing about the earth. Contemporary geographers have a difficult time defining the discipline. Some of my favorite definitions include the bridge between the human and the natural sciences. The mother of all sciences, and anything that can be mapped. What is inside the Earth? At the very center of the Earth is a dense and solid inner core of iron and other minerals that is about 1,800 miles, 2,896 kilometers, wide. Surrounding the inner core is a liquid, molten, outer core. Surrounding the outer core is the mantle, which makes up the bulk of the interior of the earth. The mantle is composed of three layers, two outer layers are solid and the inner layer. The asthenosphere, is a layer of rock that is easily moved and shaped. What is the largest continent? The largest continent is Eurasia, Europe and Asia combined. At 21,100,000 square miles, 54,649,000 square kilometers. But even if you consider Europe and Asia to be two separate continents. Asia is still the largest, at 17,300,000 square miles, 44,807,000 square kilometers. What is the largest continent?
the largest continent is Eurasia, Europe and Asia combined. At 21,100,000 square miles, 54,649,000 square kilometers. But even if you consider Europe and Asia to be two separate continents. Asia is still the largest, at 17,300,000 square miles, 44,807,000 square kilometers. What is a subcontinent? A subcontinent is a land mass that has its own continental shelf and its own continental plate. Currently, India and its neighbors form the only subcontinent, but in millions of years. Eastern Africa will break off from Africa and become its own subcontinent. What is a subcontinent? A subcontinent is a land mass that has its own continental shelf and its own continental plate. Currently, India and its neighbors form the only subcontinent, but in millions of years. Eastern Africa will break off from Africa and become its own subcontinent. What was Pangaea? About 250 million years ago. All of the land on Earth was lumped together into one large continent known as Pangaea. Faults and rifts broke the land masses apart and pushed them away from each other. The continents slowly moved across the Earth to their present positions, and they continue to move today. The Indian subcontinent, composed of India and its neighbors continues to push into Asia and create the Himalayas. What was Pangaea? About 250 million years ago. All of the land on Earth was lumped together into one large continent known as Pangaea. Faults and rifts broke the land masses apart and pushed them away from each other. The continents slowly moved across the Earth to their present positions, and they continue to move today. The Indian subcontinent, composed of India and its neighbors, continues to push into Asia and create the Himalayas. What is the world's largest island? The world's largest island is Greenland, technically now known as Kalalit Nunnate. Greenland is located in the North Atlantic Ocean near Canada. It is a territory of Denmark but has locally governed itself since 1979. It is approximately 840,000 square miles, 2,175,600 square kilometers. Australia, while it also meets the usual definition of an island, surrounded by water and is larger than Greenland 
is not considered an island but a continent. What is the world's largest island? The world's largest island is Greenland, technically now known as Kalalit Nunnaid. Greenland is located in the North Atlantic Ocean near Canada. It is a territory of Denmark but has locally governed itself since 1979. It is approximately 840,000 square miles, 2,175,600 square kilometers. Australia, while it also meets the usual definition of an island, surrounded by water, and is larger than Greenland, is not considered an island but a continent. Why is Greenland considered an island while Australia is a continent? Australia is three and a half times larger than Greenland and comprises most of the land on the Indo-Australian plate. While Greenland is distinctly part of the North American plate. Why is Greenland considered an island while Australia is a continent? Australia is three and a half times larger than Greenland and comprises most of the land on the Indo-Australian plate. While Greenland is distinctly part of the North American plate. What is an archipelago? An archipelago is a chain, or group, of islands that are close to one another. The Aleutian Islands of Alaska and the Hawaiian Islands are both archipelagos. They are usually formed by plates pushing into one another or by volcanic activity. What is an archipelago? An archipelago is a chain, or group, of islands that are close to one another. The Aleutian Islands of Alaska and the Hawaiian Islands are both archipelagos. They are usually formed by plates pushing into one another or by volcanic activity. What is a strait? A strait is a narrow body of water between islands or continents that connects two larger bodies of water. Two of the most famous straits are the Strait of Gibraltar, which connects the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. And the Strait of Hormuz, which connects the Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman. What is a strait? A strait is a narrow body of water between islands or continents that connects two larger bodies of water. Two of the most famous straits are the Strait of Gibraltar, 
which connects the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. And the Strait of Hormuz, which connects the Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman. What is the lowest point in the world on land? The world's lowest point is at the Dead Sea on the border of Israel and Jordan. It is 1,312 feet, 400 meters, below sea level. What is the lowest point in the world on land? The world's lowest point is at the Dead Sea on the border of Israel and Jordan. It is 1,312 feet, 400 meters, below sea level. What is the lowest point on dry land? The world's lowest point is still the Dead Sea shoreline. At approximately 1,378 feet, 420 meters, below sea level. What is the lowest point on dry land? The world's lowest point is still the Dead Sea shoreline. At approximately 1,378 feet, 420 meters, below sea level. What are the lowest points on each continent? In Africa, the lowest point is Lake Assel in Djibouti, 512 feet, 156 meters, below sea level. In North America, California's Death Valley lies at 282 feet, 86 meters, below sea level. Argentina's Bahia Blanca is the lowest point in South America at 138 feet, 42 meters, below sea level. The Caspian Sea in Europe lies at 92 feet, 28 meters, below sea level. And Australia's lowest point is a mere 52 feet, 16 meters, below sea level at Lake Eyre. What are the lowest points on each continent? In Africa, the lowest point is Lake Assel in Djibouti, 512 feet, 156 meters, below sea level. In North America, California's Death Valley lies at 282 feet, 86 meters, below sea level. Argentina's Bahia Blanca is the lowest point in South America at 138 feet, 42 meters, below sea level. The Caspian Sea in Europe lies at 92 feet, 28 meters, below sea level. And Australia's lowest point is a mere 52 feet, 16 meters, below sea level at Lake Eyre.
What is the highest point in the world? At 29,035 feet, 8,850 meters, the highest point above sea level in the world is MT. Everest, which lies on the border of China and Nepal, is MT. What is the highest point in the world? At 29,035 feet, 8,850 meters, the highest point above sea level in the world is MT. Everest, which lies on the border of China and Nepal, is MT. Everest growing taller? Because of the shifting plates underneath the surface of the Earth, MT. Everest is actually growing at a rate of 2.4 inches, 6.1 centimeters, per year. Everest growing taller? Because of the shifting plates underneath the surface of the Earth, MT. Everest is actually growing at a rate of 2.4 inches, 6.1 centimeters, per year.